Now, some of the things that uh, people don't know about us is we also do custom software. Well, people do know about that, but that's <laughs> we do a lot of custom things. It's not just CRM work that we do. We also get quite involved with creating custom solutions for customers. So in this quick example I'm showing here, this is some work that we did with a casino in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, where customers can go and scan their cards in on a, on a screen right there, and what that does, it actually registers them in their CRM database, um, their, their activity, and, them, and basically rewarding them points. So they can actually come back to this kiosk at any time, and they can actually print out different kiosks, uh, the kiosk messages, uh, well, basically like happy birthday, but they'll also print out vouchers so they can go to the buffet, get a free buffet, as well as if they have enough points, they can actually enter it for draws for vacation packages and whatnot as well. So that software you see there is all running off of Ligio technology, so that's the kind of stuff that we do for customers. But of course, we also do the CRM side, which is probably the majority of our business, but because of CRM ties so closely into what other companies do uh, as far as tracking and information, uh, you'll notice that uh, we do a lot of you know little different types of things for customers as they need them. So a little bit about how we do things at Eligio. Uh, you'll see that we have five different stages that we work in here. Uh, the first uh, first stage is pretty much what you're in right now. This is the learn stage. This is trying to understand what's out there, what type of solutions are available for my business. So discovery, demonstrations, product selection, that's all happening in the how we do things section. The second piece is the planning, it's technology business assessments, it's quick starter implementations, CRM strategies. So this is where you've actually picked your product, now you're engaging a vendor and getting involved and actually moving forward with your implementation. The planning stage is probably the most important, most critical piece that you could ever spend any time in. You need to know where you're going, no different than if you're building a house, you need to put together a good plan, architectural diagrams, bring in an architect to really define what a solution looks like so they can actually execute, and that's what our execution stage is all about. So developing, customizing, testing, we do all that work, we take all your feedback, we understand what you want, we work with you to come up with the solutions that best fit your business. And outside of that, once we've built the solution, we're there to support you as far as going live, through training, through import of data, but we also work with you going forward. We don't just go away, we work with our clients very, very closely, very intimately, as far as uh, service packages that we offer. So there's lots of stuff that we can do in that area as well. We work with all kinds of businesses across the board. Uh, every, like I said earlier, we do pretty much every types of industry. There's not one that we just really focus on. So with that out of the way, I'm gonna now flip over into our demo of Sugar CRM today. So Eligio is a Sugar CRM partner. We've been a partner with Sugar for a few years now. Now, what I'm going to do today is, like I said, is do a bit of a walkthrough on the day in the life of a sales rep. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to touch on a few different areas and key points that we have to offer as far as the solution for the CRM. So if you take a look on here, there's a couple things that we can point out, first of all, is that right now I'm logged in as a vice president of sales for this particular company. I can see right away I have my dashboard presented to me. I have it set up so I have some of my activities. I have my forecast for the quarter Q3 2016. On the right side, I just have a test report that I've thrown in here. Uh, if I don't really like any of these, I can just go in there and remove them really easily and then go edit and go add some other dashlets in here too. And you get a number of selections to pick from too. There's lots of canned different dashlets available. But you can also create your own re report inside of the report wizard and just click on save report stash and you can pull in all kinds of reports in here. So that test report was right there is what I'd selected earlier. So I'm just gonna drop that back in there just to show you how easy it is to put it onto your dashboard. Now once you've done that, you can start navigating around the application like you said we're gonna do in the day in the life end. So let's pretend that a customer's called in or better yet, let's say our receptionist, the front desk has received a phone call and they've gone ahead and captured the lead inside of the CRM solution. So now what they've done is they've gone ahead and they've captured a lead. So a lead is really someone that's unqualified. They're interested in your services. They've expressed some kind of interest, but you haven't actually engaged with them. You haven't actually determined if they're qualified for your business. So if we take a look through this list here, and this is what we call a list view in Sugar CRM, I can see a list of records for leads in this case. 
On the right-hand side, I can see diff more dashlets, and dashlets on the right-hand side inside of a module are information on a macro level of everything on the left-hand side. So if I take a look on the left-hand side here, I can see there's a number of different records that are converted and recycled dead. If I'm the sales guy, I'm like, whew, you know, I need to really, I really need to narrow this down a bit. So let's go in here, let's create a quick little filter, and I'm just going to look for all of the leads that have a status of new, because I, I'm right now I feel like I'm in a good mood. I want to start talking to people that you know we've got some that, that they're a new lead and we just haven't followed up with them yet. So I've just created a filter up here called status is any of new. I'm just going to go up here and save this new filter for leads and click on save at the top there. So now you'll notice that I have now saved my lead and I can always go back to it here from the drop down. But now as I get into the list view I can see all the new leads. I'm going to go and take a look at Hilda here. We're going to go to Hilda. Hilda. Hilda count this, and we're going we're gonna to see what we can do as far as capturing Hilda as a lead. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a look and see if anything's actually been happening as far as this, this particular record. And if I scroll down, you can see it's highlighted in color here with a campaign log. I can click on that, and I can kind of see that we've actually been marketing to Hilda for a little bit here. There's been lots of messages going out to Hilda. And this campaign log is coming from our campaigns module with Sugar Sierra. On the campaigns modules, everything to do with email marketing. So there is email marketing capabilities in Sugar, but over and above that, there are also ways to do, to integrate other email marketing platforms like MailChimp and Constant Contact, or if you're using something more higher end like Acton or HubSpot, all those products do integrate back into Sugar CRM too. So if I scroll now up to the top here, I can see a little bit of information on Hilda. I can have her phone number or email. I want to send her an email, I can just click on her email really easily here and I can fill out an information. If I had any templates in the system, I can go to templates. Um, but in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a phone call. So let's say I've, I picked up the phone, I've called Hilda. Now, let's say I didn't, I didn't get Hilda on the phone, I just left her a voicemail. One way you can handle that is by just saying, I left a voicemail. I status, I held the call, it was outbound, left a voicemail about our July promo. And from there, I can click on save, just like that. I've now recorded a quick little phone call that I've made out to Hilda. So I can automatically say I left a voicemail, I held it. And you know what I also might do is go on here and just do another follow-up call. But I'm going to schedule that for next week on next Thursday. And we'll, we'll give it another try and see if we can get a hold of Hilda there. So this way, I've now created another record for follow-up with Hilda that I'm going to deal with next week. So let's fast forward a bit. Let's say that it's next Thursday. I've now gone through my task list, so one way you could do that is you can go up to onto your home page here, and you can go to all your calls here. Now, I have a lot of sample data on here, but we're just going to see if we can narrow this down a bit here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of sample data on, on the future here. Let's go. There we go. So what I've done, obviously, it's in seven days, but we'll pretend that says today. But let's say I'm looking at my planned activities. I see, oh, I'm on my dashboard, and I see that I have a follow-up that I've got to deal with. So there's a couple ways. I can be like, you know what, I already dealt with this follow-up. I could just I could just close it off here. Uh, what I could also do is just click on it and take me right into the actual follow-up. So I can see right away that I have an out, a follow-up call with Hilda. So I can click on the Hilda's name. It takes me back into the lead. I can see the sub-panel down here showing the follow-up I need to make. Now I can click into that record again and go back to it. I can even use the little preview button here on the right which will open up a panel on the right-hand side with all the information on there, too. So I can even manage it from there. So, again, I pick up the phone, and let's say I talk to Hilda. And Hilda goes, yeah, you know what? I would really love to get a quote on 100 blue widgets. Can you send me a quote over there, Jim, please? So what I can do now is, first of all, I talk to Hilda. I, don't, I can mark this as closed. I, I'm just going to mark that as closed right there. Now what I'm also going to do is she's no longer a lead. I've qualified her. She wants to do business. She wants to get a quote. To me, that's, that's qualification. If you take a look at our YouTube channel, I talk a little bit about what qualification means in lead conversion. So there's a 90-second clip on there if you're interested as well. But for now, we're going to assume that we've qualified. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert that lead into an account and opportunity. To do that, we click on the little action button. We click on convert. Now what it's going to do is present us with options to break that lead out into an account, a contact, and an opportunity. You'll notice right away it's already created our contact. I could go up here and edit some information if I wanted to. I'm pretty happy with how everything looks there. Now, the, the company information, I might want to go in here and maybe mark off that maybe they're a chemicals company. 
Um, if any other information, maybe I found out they have you know 200 employees, I might capture some of that information in here at the same time. And once I'm, I'm satisfied with that, I'll just save that up there. And it also gives me an option to put an opportunity. And this is where you can kind of manage your pipeline. So I show you on my front page on the dashboard, I could see where my pipeline was at for the quarter. That's all driven through opportunities. So I could go on here and say JJ Resources, 100 blue widgets. And let's say, you know, I'm really hoping to get this deal closed by, you know, for the second week of August, say we'll put August 12th. We'll say that the amount is probably for about $10,000. You really want to take advantage of some of the forecast mechanisms. You can also take advantage of best and worst case scenario. So, you know, your optimistic and pessimistic views. We can put that in here as well. So we could say, maybe we'll get 15,000 out of there. But worst case, you know, I have a gut feeling we're going to at least come out with five. Now, as you move through the, this, this little opportunity here, you also get your sales stages. This is out of the box what comes with sugar. Now, for every company, this is going to change. At least I hope it does, because every business does things a little bit differently. You have your own different processes, and that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't need to fit into the glove when it comes to CRM products. You need to customize the CRM to suit your needs. So this list will probably change. But since we're doing a demo, I'm just going to stick to the script here, what we have for the demo. And we're just going to mark it as, you know, I've, I've got them the qualification stage maybe. Now, throughout the rest of the, the app, there's lots of other fields in here too. That you, maybe this is, I can mark that as new business. There's lots of fields in here that I can, I can populate more information on. Uh, you can also add your own custom fields if you have different ways of tracking information. Maybe dollars isn't the way you actually manage your business. Maybe it's on, especially not like nonprofits, for instance, they might use it a little bit differently where it's not about the volume of dollars, but it might be a volume of activities that they're reporting on. So there's different ways you can capture on that. But once I've captured enough information on my opportunity, all I need to do is click on create an opportunity. I now have check marks across all three of these, these particular records. And I just gotta click on save and convert. And now what I've done is I've converted my lead. So what the system's doing now, it's creating the contact, it's creating the account, and it's creating an opportunity. And as you can see here, it's now marked our lead as converted. Now, if we scroll down here, I can see that I have a few different records now showing. I can actually click through to JJ Resources Inc. now. And now we're into a different module. We're now into the accounts module. So I'm actively pursuing this account to, be, to do business with. So if I scroll down and look at, take, take a look at some of our sub-panels here, I can see there's Hilda. Hilda's a contact inside of the company. But let's say we also spoke to, I don't know, Jim Smith, who happens to be the VP of marketing at the company. And we'll just save him in there too. We start, we're starting to build a profile out of this company now. So it's not just Hilda that we're dealing with. We're actually expanding on what this contact base looks like for this company. Now as I scroll down a little bit more, I can take a look and look under opportunities now, and I can see the opportunity that we've we already captured too. And again, I can use a little preview button to see what that's all about and get some information that we might capture on here on the right-hand side. So again, I can start building out profiles on all of these records. That's, that's pretty easy to do. Any of the fields can be customized. I can't emphasize that enough. You can customize all these fields. If you want your own drop-downs, you want multi-selects, text boxes, whatever you want to do, there's no restrictions. You can add as many as you want. We can put them in there. It's not a problem. So now, Hilda's, going back to Hilda, she'd asked us for a quote. So what I could do at this point is I can go into this opportunity. And we're going to take a look at the opportunity record now. I can see a couple of cool things going on here. I can see over here my forecast. I have a quote of 2 million. We're not doing so hot right now. I got to get, I got to get on this. Of course, this is sample data. So, But I can see right away that... Uh, it's telling me where I'm at with my numbers. So if I'm feeling really confident that I can get through through the year, uh, through past my quota, I might not be as encouraged to take a hit on some of my numbers. But if I'm getting really close to hit my quota, and it's depending on bonuses and all that, and I have the flexibility to do that, I might take a look at these, the numbers on here and see how that might impact my forecast. I can do that now. If I scroll down a little bit, you'll notice we have a lot more sub-panels too here. And every, all of them are a little bit different. You have to think about all these sub-panels as related information as it rolls up inside of the opportunity. So what we need to do now is create a quote. So we're going to go down to the quotes module at the bottom here. You'll see there's a sub-panel. We don't have any right now, but I'm going to click on that little plus button there. We're going to go add a new one. So we're going to go in here, JJ Resources. We're going to do 100 Blue Widget quote. We can already see the opportunities associated. I'm going to leave, you can, the quote stage is on draft, but we'll just mark it as negotiation. We're going to say, give, we'll give them two weeks, so we'll say they have to the 11th to take a look at that. 
Again, I will emphasize any of these fields can be customized. And we're going to scroll down a little bit. It's already pulled in all the address information for our customer. I can scroll down a little bit more. And now we're going to go ahead and add a group. We're going to add a group in here. I'm going to add a row. And we're going to go pick a product. So now you can load a product catalog in here. If you're using QuickBooks or any other accounting package, Sage, whatnot, they can integrate inside of Sugar. Even if your accounting package doesn't have a, a, an integration available out of the box, you can typically build these things now. Most of the products out these days allow what we call APIs in order to integrate two different systems together. So talk to a consultant with Eligio and we can really talk, see how we can find a good solution for you that way. So normally you can just come into the product catalog and take a look and pick one of these products out. You can go in here and say a professional services hour, you can say there's 10 in quantity, and pricing over here is 250, so you could do it that way. But we also said we had 100 blue widgets in here. Now that's not in the catalog, so I'm just going to go play, say blue widgets. I can put a manufacturer number in there if I want. I can say that our cost was, I don't know, we'll say, uh, say 1,000 bucks. Uh, list price is 1,500. Unit price is 1,500. And I can offer a discount in here if I want to as well, but I'm not going to do that. So I'm just messing around with numbers here, but you kind of get the idea. You might even go in here and say it's 10, 15. I think we, we put it as 15,000 is, is our estimate. So you can kind of play around a bit with numbers on here. So let's go say 15 on there. So now we're down to say 4,000. Uh, obviously, I'm not got to work on my numbers, but I think we get the idea. But once you've kind of figured out your quote, your template, and all you need to do now is go down, click on save. Now, what's happened is I've created the quote, but it's taken me back into the opportunity, and I can see the quotes down there. So there's a couple things that can happen right now. Is I can go ahead and I can click on that quote now and go back to it and take a look at it so I can see that I've, everything's been populated for me. And now what I can do is go up here and say I can download that PDF. I can save it to my computer. I can use Microsoft Outlook to send out the email, but I can also use the Outlook Sugar plugin to attach that email into Sugar. Or I can just do it right from Sugar as I can go to Invoice. What's doing right now is generating a PDF and redirecting us over to the email. So it's populating everything for us, giving us a subject. We can pull in an automatic template if we want. Now, if I look at the little attach button here, you can see that the invoice has already been attached. Everything's been done for you. But let's say we go back to this quote here, and I want to go ahead and just download it and take a look at it right now. So click download invoice. And right down here, here's our PDF. So let's go take a look at that PDF now. And there's a quick little populated template. So this can be completely customized as well. It's just an HTML form. can be edited inside of Sugar PDF Manager as well. So once you've done that, you've sent out the document. We can go back to the opportunity here. Oh, let me go back here. Clicked on the wrong thing. Anyways, we're back to our opportunity. So would you agree that now we sent out the quote that we're in a different sales stage? We really are at this point because we just sent them a proposal. So I might go down here to change that to proposal price quote. You'll notice our probability percentages are changing down here. It's 65% now. I'll click on save. So now what can happen is we're basically communicating back and forth and working with JJ Resources to close the deal. So at some point, we're hoping that you know Hilda comes back and accepts our proposal. And let's assume she, she did. She calls back and she does accept it. Uh, you can see a couple things going on here. There's the email right now that we were working on. But if I scroll down to our quotes, I can see that our quote down there, $4,303. I can see our opportunity up here. But let's say that Hilda comes through and says, yeah, you know what? I'm good to go with that. What we can do is scroll down. We can mark it as closed one. We click Save. And now we've now updated our, our, our numbers for this upcoming quarter, next, next quarter. Uh, this hasn't changed because it's on Q3 because it's, this is closing for August. But uh, that's how you basically track the close one a deal. So now you can go back to your opportunities list and see a list of all the opportunities that you're working on as well as anything else that has to do with um, other opportunities that you're working through as well. So this is a great way to get insight to what work is upcoming, what needs to be done too. So that's really a good little overview on a day in the life. Again, you're going to be capturing a lot of notes and things like that. A lot of profiles really get beefed up with a lot of calls, a lot of notes. Uh, there's lots of ways to capture information inside of Sugar. So hopefully that kind of gives you a bit of a neat little overview on how things work inside of Sugar CRM. So I hope you enjoy it, and I hope we uh, hear from you again soon. And I thank you again for tuning in for the Eligio CRM uh, webinar this week.